Austin and News Now stream, we do want to just jump out of that uh, news conference there to take you out live here. This is I-17 northbound at Deer Valley, and you can see the middle of your screen. Those are two dogs that are on the highway right there. And uh, you can see that traffic has stopped as they are trying, uh, police and other people trying to get these dogs off the highway safely. But you can see uh, that they have stopped the traffic, so that is the good thing there. But uh, right now, that these two pups are evading police right now. So hopefully uh, you see that officer there in the front will be able to kind of uh, corner them maybe on the shoulder. So we don't know what kind of dogs they are or how they got out, but uh, they are on the highway there, I-17 northbound here at Deer Valley. We continue to see here as uh, you can see from this traffic cam, uh, you can see the backup now that is occurring because of this. But now we see the officer uh, trying to get a handle on these dogs, but these dogs do not want to, uh, if, you, if, if you can, pull over. They do not want to pull over here as uh, they are going at a pretty good clip right now and see if the officer can get ahead of them and maybe just to stop them or kind of gear them there to the shoulder. Well, this is what we are uh, following here for you right now. Hopefully that these dogs will be safe. And uh, you can see the backup that is occurring here at I-17 northbound at Deer Valley right now that we're showing you these live images from the from the tower cam that we are seeing here. And now we have uh, two officers trying to come and uh, try to put a stop to these two pups that are uh, on the highway. As, uh, yep, the dogs are on the run right now, and luckily, uh, everyone is being patient right now on the highway here as they're going to try to allow these officers to, to get a control of these pups right here, and they continue to be on the run, though. No word yet on how exactly they got on the highway. You can see, though, just really a never a dull day here on news now as we try to bring you everything that is happening and when we see little bizarre things happen on our uh, traffic cams yeah we bring those to you too right here live and uninterrupted right here on news now for you as you can see the traffic is just creeping up and uh the the dogs really say they're saying at this moment hey we have all day here we have these open roads and we're going to go as long as uh, we don't get tired. But hopefully uh, police are going to be able to get these uh, dogs into safely into their SUV and then be, be taken care of right now. And then so traffic could once again uh, run smooth right here. But if you're just joining us here on News Now, welcome. Uh, we are following, well, two dogs that are on this highway here at I-17 northbound at Deer Valley. Can't see right now where the dogs are at because of that uh, HOV sign, but uh, they are right by, if you see the flashing lights, they're right near those two officer F SUVs here. And you can see that the traffic is being very patient, but a big backup is occurring right now. So it looks like they changed the shot now. We're getting a, a better look here. This is from the southbound of uh, I-17, right near Pinnacle Peak. And then you can see here the dogs continue to evade the police at this moment. And they're not really, they're probably more startled than anything to see, okay, what exactly is going on? Why are we getting all of this attention? So we continue to see this right here. Take a look at the dogs continue to uh, evade right now. Uh, police here. But luckily, uh, right now, and we're joined now by our very own Troy Hayden. This is crazy, Mike. Yeah, look at this. Not every day you get to see two dogs on the highway here. Sticking together, right? These dogs aren't separating. They're not, you know, running for, you know, I, I'm for you, you're for me. Yes, yes. Reminds you of the llamas almost. Look at them oh, side yeah. by side. This is a, a different kind of llama drama, no doubt. And it always, Doggy drama. Yeah, it always seems to happen in February for some reason. You know, we just had the <laughs> anniversary. True. Wasn't it three years ago almost? That's true. A couple of days ago? Yeah, it's weird. Um, 
You know, the thing is, now, look, I, I'm just getting to this a few minutes ago. Did yeah. they get out of the car already and try to grab them? Yeah, they did. And they're did. running away? They did. So, they so what's the end game here? I would Play this get, out for me. I would want to get in front. Wouldn't you, instead of being just on the side here, wouldn't you want to try, try to take a... Oh, no, he's stopping. Yeah, he's maybe stopped. just open. Maybe somebody like shows up with some dog treats or a little hamburger or something. And says, "Good boy, good girl." Yeah, I don't know what their what their best uh, way of handling this is right here. But if you're just joining us, everyone, I-17 southbound that we're getting this uh, look for you. This is actually on the northbound lane, but this picture is coming from southbound here. So they're heading northbound up, and this is uh, you know this is North Phoenix. A uh, pretty busy part of town this time of day. Uh, Deer Valley Road, and they're going to be going a little bit north. They're going to get to Pinnacle Peak, right? Yes. Uh, so Pinnacle Peak up there is uh, another big shopping area. And so I, I know we're not looking behind this, but I would imagine at this time of day, there is a huge traffic jam behind these two little dogs. Oh, yeah, yeah, especially now that we're getting very close Ooh, careful. to lunchtime. Yeah, be very careful. They might go right under that tire. They could be nervous here. He's almost trying to... Uh, hurt him over to the side you know maybe I, I think that would be the play the play would be try to get him to the right side of the road because it'd be awful if you got him to the median that's separating the northbound from southbound yes. and they jumped over okay this looks good so there's an off ramp right it looks yeah. like an off ramp so if you could hurt him to that off ramp okay look this could be masterful here this could be like <laughs> something out of a, a john wayne movie in terms of like you know herding the herding the dogs instead of herding cattle on a horse you're herding dogs on a, on a little you know with a SUV there. Look, they're going to they get them off. Yeah, we're going to get them right off here. Come on, little doggies. You know, what's great about news now is a lot of times we cover uh, police chases. This is a different type of police chase right now. Slow speed. It's very slow. Oh, no, speed. no, no. Don't get back. Don't get back on. Oh, they want to no, get come back on. on. They got back on. That's dangerous, little fella. They still have a lot of time. They can go across that gravel and get back on. Now, come on. Okay, now, see Ooh. that? This is a smart movement. It's going to try to get in front of them. Now, he's going to try to take them on this gravel. Front. No, no. He won't squish him. Yep. This guy, come on. Come on. Oh. Now, at this point, at this point, can't one of them get out and just. I uh, would, scoop ha him right up? now, if I was the other police officer, I would be coming to the uh, other side of this and getting out in front yeah. of them and trying to herd them off. Yeah, you're right. Where is the second car? Yeah, we need to. Uh, now, be careful. And if you, know, if you herd them over to these other cars, these other cars are going to scare them, too. Oh, here he goes. Okay, so we're getting right. out. We come might on. see this come on, rescue trooper. live right here, folks. Oh, now they're scattering. Oh, careful. Oh, you just oh. don't want to alert them too much. Oh. Uh, and they're see, fast that's, ones. That's they your fast problem. little guys, aren't they? Wow. That's your problem. Yeah, I don't know. You almost, you're almost waiting for what happened with the llamas, where some cowboy's going to show up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He knows what to do. <laughs> yes, yes. You know, we are getting up kind of, you know, closer to the more rural areas of town here. There, there may be a few cowboys who are watching this right now who are thinking, hey, let's get down there and make something happen with these little dogs. But now you got the issue, Mike, where mm -hmm. if you if they run across that median or the, the gravel part, they're dealing with traffic on the other side, which is not good either. No, 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 not at all. You don't want to get them to that other area, no doubt. Uh, but boy, they are fast and they're yeah. startled. You know, they, they don't know where they're at. I don't know how they got on the highway here. I just love how they're sticking together. Oh, now, see, this could be a good move here. And if you can get them on the other side of that median, that would also be a plus. That would limit one of their options. See if they try to get around. Oh. Good. Good. Okay. Okay. This is positive. This is a positive development. So now they've got them off in that kind of riparian area. Yes. Yes. Off to the side where you got a bunch of your, uh, your trees, the Palo Verde trees and mesquite trees over there. Now we lost sight of them, but yep. I think that's a good thing because now, now they're off the freeway. They're Ooh, off now, the freeway. Now the freeway traffic's going again, so you only hope they don't yeah. get back on the other way. Now I don't know what's on the other side. Like if they, there should be an overpass, Deer Valley overpass. See, as we're getting closer and closer. Yep. There they there are. They are. Wow. There they are. See, they have to get on the other side of that overpass and keep them over there. Now, how long does this barricade go for? I hope. Like right oh there, see? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. And now we've got traffic. Oh, there we go. Okay, good. Okay, good. good. Stop them there. Stop. Oh, there they are. No, 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 no. Oh, stop no. the traffic again. This no. could be bad. Oh. Oh, no. 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 No, oh, looks like people are stopping. Oh, no. Stop. Everybody slow down. Slow down, folks, please. We have dogs on the run here, and they're not able to bring them back. They got back now onto the highway here. They, and I think... Uh, okay, that's, that shot just left us right here. 
I have a feeling they did that on purpose. That back. So we're just going to show you a live look here at the White House while we wait to get that back. Stay right here with us on News Now as we're trying to get that shot. We got the shot back. It's a little different here. Do you have it, Jen? This is Deer Valley. So they're changing it on us here. All right, hopefully uh, nothing bad happened here. Well, there they are right there, the left side of the screen. I still see them. Okay, you still see them? Yeah. Go to the next one, Jen. Okay, so the shot might just go a little in and out. Just stay right here They're with on the us. They just watched out of the left side of the screen. You can see the uh, DPS cruiser uh, just going out of screen right now on the left, and they're right in front of mm. them. They got a big bus there. That might be a good break for them as well. The traffic went too early. The traffic went too early. Well, they, they only had two troopers out there. Oh, and there they, they are. They stop everybody. There they are. Yeah, okay. Wow, that was close. That was oh, that was too close. I didn't feel good about that last little maneuver they did there, and no. uh, especially with all the traffic going. And thank goodness whoever was on the freeway had their you know their heads up and well, I had my his dogs down. And I had my hand on the button ready to dump out just in case if we didn't want to see anything bad. Uh, I'm, I'm thinking we're going to get a happy ending here. Th this is lasting long enough now, or hopefully we'll get some more personnel. I know what I'm going to name these pups though: Lucky One and Lucky Two. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm going to name them. <laughs> I, if they're able to get back into these uh, squad cars, then this is going to be short this of a miracle. Crazy. I mean, I just don't know how this happens. Well, you know, they've got the, the traffic stopped again. But, you know, look, so now you've got the, this on-ramp, and that's an issue. Right? Yeah. So the closer they get to this gore point, they're dealing with that other traffic. I wonder if that other DPS cruiser is going to be able to get over there and stop that traffic. Well, it's close to Happy Valley. And it's almost like, you know, so Happy Valley is a very uh, well-traveled road. There's a big roundabout. There's restaurants and uh, stores. It, it's a, a very big commercial area there, and uh, so a lot of traffic. So maybe they can try to hurt him over here a little. See, now look, that one trooper's going off to the right, and he's stopping the, on, the oncoming on. traffic. Stop it. Yeah, I think they're, they're in a pretty safe spot. So are they, you point. think they'll try to get him back under the gravel area? Yeah, but that didn't help. I mean, no. they had it last time. So it's almost like you need somebody to get in there with uh, one of those nets, like a dog catcher sure. type net or one of those, uh, like kind of the lasso they have on the end of the pole. Because, I mean, how else do you grab them? Mm. You know, there, there's, there's no way on foot you're going to be able to catch no. a dog that wants to get away. They're yeah. just faster, you know, unless you get like Usain Bolt or something <laughs> yes, out here yeah. right after him. You know, uh, this is different for police because they're usually uh, trying to get suspects with two uh, legs. This has four. A little eight. bit different. Yeah, a total of eight. Lucky one and lucky two. Yep. Come on. Okay, so they're trying to get it back to the gravel area here. Let's hope we get a happy ending there on Happy Valley. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm hoping for. Oh, there you for. go. There you go, Troy. Yeah. Happy ending and Happy Valley. And now we ha also have... Uh, just oh, okay, look, fire's in here. What if they can, like... I don't... You want to pull your hose out on them or anything. Yeah. I wonder what they have. So... Uh, well, hopefully for the very best here. Well, the good news is, with the fire truck there, they're going to do a, a better job of stopping traffic. Yes. That's yes. a big truck. Nobody's going to be running past that. They're not going to miss that at all. No, no. But I think we're going to run into the same issue we had before. So, you know, we're, here we are getting ready to get, do the, uh, the off-ramp for Happy Valley Road. It's going to be very similar to what we just saw there at Deer Valley. Yeah. Well, we will continue to follow this. Stay right here with us. We're taking, we're just, going, we're taking a break? We're taking a short break. Are you break. kidding me? Yep. We're taking a short break. Stay right here with us for Dogs on the Run here in Arizona. Will they well, catch you? Troy Hayden, Fox 10. Yep. Go to me. I'm going to start. I'll stream it right now. All right, and thanks to all our viewers right now. Fox10Phoenix.com, we are continuing. Us. Don't wait. Don't you worry. We don't leave the shot. Oh, here's a better shot now. Okay, so you see the fire truck there, folks. We got the fire truck out now. Traffic is once again stopped, so here comes the... Here comes the safety. Oh, look, at they just stopped right there for those... Uh, for the fire truck. Everybody loves a firefighter. So two, oh look at this, they're gonna get him right here. So two dogs, oh, get him. Oh, now they're going back. Oh, he got one. Did he get one? Lucky one. No, they're both still running. Where are they, where are they? Right there. Oh boy, come on. Okay, now you get him. 
Oh, wow. Oh, they oh. are fast. They are fast. And they do not want to be caught. Look, guys, we're doing this for your own good. And the one's just kind of sitting there looking at him. Well, you know what, though? I bet they run back into that traffic. Someone's going to jump out of their car and grab them. I'll bet you a buck right now. Yeah, it's, the there's other enough people sitting out. back there. We, we need multiple help here. Yeah, we need more hands. There's, there's so many dog lovers in this town. And so we're, see the other uh, SUV. Oh, just don't go on there. Well, there's a fence there, right? Yes. Okay, good. Thank you. Good. That fence is there. Thanks to all our viewers on Fox10Phoenix.com and Fox10 Phoenix Facebook Live. We're going to reconnect with Fox10 Extra in just a bit here. Wild, wild uh, chase here. Oh, no. Now the traffic is once again going, though, Troy. Oh, man. Why do they start so early? Yeah, I don't know how they have them. And, they're, and the thing is, they're right behind them. They're, they're to the right side there, and the left lanes are going. Yeah, it's, I don't know. I don't know if they're doing a calculus here and saying, well, you know, at a certain point, we can't stop the freeway all day. Mm. But we have two mm. little dogs that have been running around now for a good, what, 20, 25 minutes, something yes. like that? On and I welcome back to our viewers here on Fox 10 Extra as we continue to uh, showcase oh, here, these dogs on the car. run. We're looking for two dogs right here, and they still... Uh, being chased around by the police there at I-17 northbound, just right by uh, Happy Valley. And you can see that the traffic is once again going, and that's the, that's the risky part here. As police for the last really 15 minutes been trying to, to get these dogs safe. Oh, and there they're running in traffic again. Oh, Gosh no. dang it. There they are running there right in the traffic. Oh, boy. You know, and somebody's not going to see them in front of one of these big trucks. Oh, they're going back in traffic again. Oh, no. They're standing right in front of that big white truck. They've got to stop the traffic come again. On, or someone's going to hit these two. little dogs. Yeah, come on, guys. The, the, the jig is up. It's time to let it go. Time to let somebody grab you and get out of here in one piece. Okay, so it looks like they were able to stop traffic again. And they're going to try to grab them again here. I wonder if they could use uh, some air, air horns just to stun them. What do you think about that, Troy? Uh, yeah, I don't know. That might even freak them out even more. Okay, it looks, ooh, they're very close, see, they're very close. Like somebody's, somebody, oh, they got one. Did somebody get one? I, it oh, looks like they nope. got one of them. Come on, treat, give them a treat. That's what I said. Somebody go buy some hamburger or some milk bones or something. Did we get them? I don't know, I still see one see. running. It was hard to see from the, I, oh, there's one right under the car. No, that's not a bad place though, if it's not moving. Yeah, it's not moving, it's definitely not and moving. And that way you can trap them in there a little bit. I don't see the other one. I wonder mm. if they're both under there. Like I was saying earlier, uh, you know, sometimes on News Now we have these police chases. Never did we think we would have a two dog chase right here in the valley. But we do. It almost looks like somebody's got something in his hand. Like one of those long, does he have like a pole in his hand, that guy right there? Mm. Oh, there goes oh, one right there's there. There's one in the back. I think they, oh, oh they, there oh, they are. They're they both still out. They don't no. even have one. Mm -mm. No. All right, stay. Uh, wow. And the traffic continues to go, so they only have a small area really to work with. If one of these dogs darts back in, that's going to be trouble. Yeah, the. Well, now look, that one's getting off. So that one's. Now don't let them get back on the freeway, Just though. Just don't. Okay, they're under that's that in the car. That's to the middle left. No, there's one right here, the yeah. middle left of your screen. Yep. So he's out. He's out, but the one's right under the car that's not moving, thankfully. Okay. Yeah, they've got to be scared. Wow, yeah, definitely scared. Oh, now he's chasing them right back We're all scared just watching. The, now and he's going right back into the traffic. Gosh mm, dang it. Try to stop and as now much he's traffic into the as traffic. they can. Yeah, yeah. Gotta, the officers themselves have to be careful. Look at this car running oh, out. Oh, come on. What's this car oh, doing? Oh, you know, he might be another, see another officer? Hopefully. Yeah, well, I don't know. I don't know what's going on, but, uh, well, we will continue to watch this. Dogs on the run. We're looking for lucky one and lucky number two right now, hoping for the very best. What's going to happen? Stay right here with us. And we're still with you on Fox 10 X uh, for Fox 10 Phoenix and Facebook Live. You guys get to watch it all un un uninterrupted, if I could get that out here as we continue to watch. Two dogs on the I-17 just near uh, Happy Valley. You know, really bizarre day there for police trying to get these uh, two dogs. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's a tough one. I mean, there, I, you know, you've got all these people stopped on the freeway, so you don't want to have accidents that are being caused by these dogs. I understand it. But man, we need somebody who knows how to grab a dog to get out there. Because for whatever reason, these dogs want nothing to do with these officers, the other people. No, a motor officer might be able to better help. So yeah. that, that could help there. It's almost like they're going to have to get to a point where they have the dog completely cornered in. And then some really quick hands. And somebody who's not afraid to get bit. Because that probably is going to happen too. Maybe they, hopefully they've got gloves on. Oh, they have them? Is that one? Yeah, they got them. Please say they do. Is there one? Does he have it? He does. We have one. I think he's got him right there. There's one right there. Okay. Where's the other one? Okay. All right. Please have Is one. that lucky one or lucky two? <laughs> Are you going to call it? Yeah, we're going to go with one. Yeah. <laughs> one started it. What do you mean one, one started it? <laughs> You're one, saying one's the instigator? Yeah, one had and the other's a follower. Of course. At least they stuck together. Well, I don't see lucky two anywhere. It's tough to see, folks. I'm sorry. We're, uh, we're watching the same picture you are, but I, I bet you're watching yours on a nice big screen. We've got kind of a little monitor we're looking at yeah. here. But it looks like they definitely have one. And it doesn't look like they're looking for another one, does it? And hope, hopefully they got this all squared away. Maybe they got two and we don't even know about it. Well, we can sure hope for that. Do they have both, John? Um, I only see one. I only saw one. That's John Roy, our uh, Welcome assignment Welcome back manager here to News there. Now on Fox 10 Extra. As you can see, we are still covering this for you as these dogs on the run. We're, we're hearing that one, we got one so far, right? We, I, saw, I saw them get one, yeah, but I so. haven't seen them get the other one. But at the same time, as I'm looking at this, I don't see them chasing another dog. No, so maybe they have two wrapped up, and you can see the traffic is going again. This is I-17 just near uh, Happy Valley. Well, see, we got our happy ending on Happy Valley. You did. I believe you we did. It. You know, you put, you put it out there. Okay, so we uh, we got the helicopter. <laughs> we got Sky Fox going now. <laughs> Scramble Sky Fox. We've got dogs on a freeway. So okay, there we go. Sky Fox is covering this too, and uh, we're trying to get a better angle here. Maybe they're looking for where everything's happening. Let me well, go back. Well, let me go second. back to the he's, shot here. Now he's looking back on. Well, why is that guy running around? Oh, well, that's not good. So is Lucky Two still out there? Look, Lucky Two still may be. Well, yeah. You see Lucky too? I don't know. I don't know where they're at now, but uh, I mean, he's Sky just going back to get his car. Yeah, Sky it's Fox. It's possible he's just going back to get his car. Sky Fox is definitely on it right now. I think Sky Fox is a little south of where all the action is. I think they need to go a little north. Okay. I think this is down by Deer Valley. Yeah, let's show you back uh, where all the commotion ended. This is from our uh, tra traffic cam right there at I-17, just near Happy Valley. Yeah, that officer looks to me. He's just going back to get his his vehicle. Okay, good. I, I think I'm, I'm about ready to call it, Mike. I'm All about 80% right. sure we got both luckies. Good. Right? Yeah. Are you with me on that? Yeah, yeah, I'm going with it. And that's a happy ending like you called it. You put it out there in the universe, we're getting it. <laughs> uh, I'm glad things worked out this way. Yeah, that was good. That was good. So we have the two dogs there right. on the Thanks, run. Man. I got to no go more. do the noon show. Yep. Uh, we'll, we'll see Full coverage on yep. Fox 10 News at noon. Yeah, we have Sky Fox up, so you'll have it. Good. Thanks, Troy. All right. Yep. Never a really a dull moment here on News Now is, uh, like I said, sometimes we have police chases. Sometimes they're in L.A. Sometimes they're right here in the valley. Sometimes they have cars and sometimes they deal with dogs now. We could add that to our list. So it looks like a happy ending there right near Happy Valley in the I-17. Definitely. Uh, we'll take that. Uh, there were some tense moments there, definitely some tense moments, especially when that dog just wanted to keep going uh, back onto the traffic there. So good moments there. I'm glad that everybody cooperated and uh, nothing bad happened. We'll continue to update you for the very latest there, fox10phoenix.com, and coming up in just a little bit on Fox 10 News at Noon, Troy Hayden will have the very latest headlines from here in Arizona as well from across the country as well. So we'll have that for you in full in just a little bit. Going on to other stories here of the day,